Every morning, millions of New Yorkers leave their crowded apartments and head out to the even more crowded streets on their way to work. Today, I was one of them. Sometimes a girl just needs a new start. I had a new do, a new mortgage, and therefore, a new job. I had just submitted my first freelance article for one of the most relevant and provocative magazines on the newsstands today, at least to me, Vogue, also known as Mecca, where I belong. This isn't Vogue. Oh, you, you didn't like it? No, no one is saying that. Well, I am. I'll say it. I didn't like it there. I said it. No, what Enid is trying to say, Carrie, is that you wrote a wonderful first draft. That isn't Vogue. There it was. The article I'd put my heart and soul into, and it was bleeding. Your spin on the idea, Carrie, is very clever. Different types of men as the new accessories for fall. A, uh, a Prada... <laughs> a Prada dress should always be worn with an investment banker. I mean, that's wonderful. Julian, the assignment was 500 words on accessories, not men. And I'm not convinced she knows anything about purses. Or for that matter, men. Enid, for the love of God. Miss Bradshaw, what you've handed us here is essentially just your newspaper column with the word style jammed in where the word sex used to be. We're not looking for vogue according to your agenda. No one cares about your agenda. That's not true. Oh, forgive me. I don't care about your agenda. I care about designers. Oscar de la Renta, Chanel, Dior. I want less Carrie Bradshaw and more carry this bag with these shoes. Do you see what I mean? You're a writer. You should be writing this down. I was trying to find a way to introduce the bags and the bracelets with a little humor. Kind of, men are the new black. <laughs> it was supposed to be funny. It was supposed to be bags. Well, Thanks. An hour later, Enid had to leave for a lunch date. Presumably, to devour another writer. Don't let Enid get to you. She just came back from Paris, and apparently humor and irony are out this season. Billy Holiday. The only woman I could think of in more pain than you right now. Come on, Cookie, chin out. For publishing, you need two things. A tough hide and a dry martini. Martinis in the morning, is this allowed? Is it Vogue? Only in absolute emergencies. Last time I broke this out was when I heard that Fun Fur was making a comeback. <laughs> Look at this mess. Why was I even hired? Well, I'm afraid you have me to blame for that. My daughter introduced me to your column about a year ago. I thought you'd be a natural at Vogue. Well, I guess you thought wrong. Haven't been wrong yet. Vogue is all about vision. You, Cookie, have got vision. We just have to find a way to hide your vision from Enid's vision. A little less you, a little more purse. <laughs> Come on. Drink. Cheers. One and a half martinis later. And the sad thing is, this is what I do best. And look at it. Cookie, you're drunk. Yeah. Cookie's drunk. I'm drunk at Vogue. How can anyone get so drunk on one and a half martinis? I didn't eat breakfast and I'm a size two, which should make me perfect for Vogue. But nope, I'm drunk and a failure at Vogue. I feel awful. This is my fault. Oh, Julian. I came in here today so cocky. I thought I knew it all. I had my man jokes and my purse puns, and, and you heard her. What do I know about purses? Nothing. What do I know about men? Oops. I spilled. I spilled a book. OK. OK. Maybe we better just take you home. I can't go out there. I'm drunk. I'm drunk at Vogue. Oh.